And who we got with us this morning? Miss Ballhead. <laughs> what's up? Um, what's been going on since the last time we seen you? We ain't seen you in a while. Um, every day I just try to, you know, get through. It's difficult because being on the street, you never know what you're gonna get. Um, an update um, with me personally, I've been a lot um, of emotion and less of strength. But I know I'm a, I'm a pull through. That's one thing about me. I'm a Sagittarius, and I'm really big on energy and stuff like that. Um, but the one thing that's happened to me is I lost my finger um, due to some trial and error. Um, what happened with that? I got into it with somebody, and when I was like passed out, they thought it would be cool to burn me, and. Um, I was out, so me being on the street caused me to get like, um, like an infection or whatever. But the, um, my doctor told me that uh, I was okay and the infection wouldn't grow because they cut this mug off. <laughs> um, How long just, ago was that? This was about two months ago. What were you guys arguing about or fighting? Like, what was it about? Um about her thinking that, you know, her guy was into me. And I was just telling her like, I'm not that type of girl, you know? I It wouldn't get, you know, it wouldn't do nothing but cause problems, you know? And I'm not a person to just be like, you know, all flirty and shit. I'm, I'm real, really, really shy, you know? And I'm just not no backstabber. I feel like what's for me is for me and what's for you is for you. I don't need to take nothing from you to be okay. I'm going through enough, you know? So since the last time we spoke, I know you were into it with your mom and your, was it your mom and your brother, your mom and your sister? And you were contemplating going back. So mm -hmm. what happened with that? Uh, really? Nothing. What caused you not to go back or to make the decision to stay out here? Honestly, I really just believe I'm in some type of dream or something um i recently lost my grandma and uh i don't know i just keep losing stuff i keep taking losses are there any like is it any alcohol is it any substances involved that keep you kind of at a standstill or is it just you um it's definitely things I deal with uh, go to day to day. Um, yeah, I'm dealing with substance use because of my depression and stuff like that. You know, I, I use, but now I'm like stuck. What particular substance are you kind of using to get through your depression at the time? Uh, really just my as a piece and uh, opioids. Um, I recently found out like it's a lot of the medicine being laced with fentanyl. And uh, my granny was like, my granny had been 26 years clean. She recently relapsed, and because of her report, she had diabetes and didn't know. And come to find out, she had a heart attack and it killed her. And so her son found her in the bathroom, deceased. <laughs> But we didn't know. And I just feel like just because I'm strong don't mean I should keep taking the most hits. What's going on with your job search? Are you kindly looking for any jobs or any forms of employment to better the situation? Yeah, um, honestly, I'm ready to create my own business. I want to tell people more about things you go through. You know, like, put it into something. Mm -hmm. Eventually, I am going to get back on my feet. I'm not no, you know, like, no sorry person. As a woman, I'm going through stuff. I'm learning how to deal with things. I'm learning how to approach stuff differently. I'm learning how to shut up and listen. I'm learning how to, you know, sometimes you got to take things and run with them. Um, but right now, my focus is just getting better for myself. And then for my child. How long have you been in the 
how long have you been kind of out here? Because it's been a few months since the last time we spoke to you. How long have you been out here so far? It's going on for like um, seven, seven, seven months. What all have you had to deal with out here in them seven months? Like, because um, I know it can't be fun out here. Yeah, it's not fun. And the most disappointing thing is seeing people that you look out for on the day to day. And if you need them for 10 cents, they wouldn't look out. And that's just really something that I, I'm, I'm experiencing now. And it's not with everybody, but most people, you know. But I can't even, I'm just over that. I'm ready to look forward to my future. I'm ready to get up, get on my feet, make sure I, I tell people about these things, especially young women how you can go through something and you can really overcome it. You know, I'm going through these things to get to the next level. You know, sometimes you have to go through it to get to the other end. I mean, really, I think that's the only way. But, um, I don't know. I, I, I feel like I'm really protected by higher power and that's the only way I'm still here. I've, I've had men try to kill me. Why would they try to harm you? Because it's something about my demeanor that's kind of like intimidating to some men and it's probably because of, you know it, it, it reminded them of somebody that hurt them before well if let's for the record if we can be candid um if a so-called man is intimidated by a woman that's not a man that's a male professing to be a man he's a male He's not a man because a man shouldn't be intimidated by a woman and whatever a woman has going on, that's what she has going on. And if he wants to harm her, that's not what me that's what that's not what men do. So we gotta kinda stop throwing that man word around so much because it's a lot of activities that's going on out here, both for men and women that are professing to be males and females and it is it's really contrary to the man and woman titles that we're giving them, which is kind of like a high title. Yes. So, um, I mean, that's so true. Like, in LA, I travel a lot, or I've traveled, and I'm gonna travel some more, you know, in like the future, the near future. Um, I just wanna know, you know, I just wanna know, like, I wanna know what's, what's next, like, I've been so close to, to, to the bottom, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, I only could go up, you know? And I'm sitting there with so much grace and I'm so humble. But I, I know where I'm destined to be. I know that I'm gonna end up, uh, you know? What's the first step in climbing away from the bottom and distancing yourself from the bottom? Changing my, um, changing my area. You know, like I gotta, I got to get uncomfortable for me to get comfortable. It's something that's got to happen. My environment has to change. It has to change. And it have changed. And so, you know, saying that I'm okay to see that I'm going through a rocky situation because I know what it's like to be in nice environments. I know what it's like to have five-star meals and stuff. I know what it's like to do and look good, you know? Like, man, my Instagram... Oh, no, Shout out your Instagram. Shout out any ways you can be contacted and reached and people can get a better understanding. And if they want to reach out and share resources with you, they yeah. can. Um, okay, my um, IG is Kiana, K-E-A-U-N-N-A dot Jackson, J-A-C-K-S-O-N. Yeah, I tap in. You have any cash app? You have any ways? Do you have any other ways of being contacted or, you know, that people um, can use. I mean, I'm that's the, that's another thing. Like being on the streets, you cannot stay in one spot. I have people getting mad at me every day. Like you stay gone for two or three days, not them not knowing. I'm struggling to survive. I don't know where I'ma sleep at night. You know, I don't know if I'ma make it to the morning. You know. When do we get tired and uncomfortable and kind of say, you know what, today is the day that I pull myself up or begin to pull myself up out of this situation? Um, I've been thinking like that the last few days. Yeah. What advice, 
us again, what advice would you give a young lady who's thinking about coming out here? Thinking it's all glitz and glamour and I get to do what I want to do. It's not okay. I mean, like, especially uh, women that think y'all moms like, might like be hard on y'all or, or y'all dads or whatever. I ain't have my daddy growing up. I ain't have my dad growing up. And so I kind of strayed away from men, you know, like I just don't have a fucking soft, I mean, a soft spot for men. And it's just crazy because a man would think that I'm just being a, a you know, a tough ad, but I'm not. I just don't have a soft spot. But I do have a son. I love him dearly. And I think God gave me that. <laughs> to kind of like, you know, see that every man ain't bad. Your mom still had your son? Uh, yeah. <laughs> How's your communication with him? Um, it's like, you know, in the middle. It's in the middle. But like I said, I made sure my baby was good, you know. And it's going to be a lot of, you know, backlash on that. But. My baby is coming with his mama. That's the that's the end goal for me, you know. And I'm going. He's gonna. This is gonna be the very reason why my baby is good for the rest of his life. Cause I'm gonna tell my story, and it's just gonna be something that I make positive, you know. It's like you could cry about it or you could eat. If there's anything you want, if there's, <laughs> if there's anything you want to say in closing, Miss Barhead, that you haven't said thus far, um, getting off your chest or anything you want to say to anybody, now's the time you can say it. Um, only the strong survive, you know. I'm telling you, I've been in the most weirdest situations, but those things, I, you know, made me a better me. I'm going through this right now to only be able to tell myself that it's okay. It's okay to be the, the me I am. It's okay to go through trials and tribulations. It's okay to have a fucked up family. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay to have your cousin on drugs it's okay to have your brother or sister you know not talk for a while but it's not okay to keep living without your family or loved ones life is so short we appreciate you taking time we we wish you all the best out here and um thank you for everything you've shared so far with us thank you Thank you. You know it's all good. <laughs>